tried that. to. That's I what I mean. The words you're using, like, I didn't know I was going to either. That's what I mean. Stop saying that, that, that way. I didn't know you were going to do that. Yeah, because I planned on doing that. I meant to do it a different way. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess I have to cast that now. <laughs> it's fine, but yeah, just, all I'm trying to say is smoking yeah. weed and streaming does not mix uh, uh, at all. <laughs> at <laughs> all. It makes everything just complicated. Because I have to mute, I have to fuck with my camera, I can't be involved with the game, so I'd just uh, rather not smoke while doing this. So if you want to smoke, just grab some and go pack some. So thank you. Do you have backlash? Or not actually. Boop, 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 boop. Backlash. Uh, okay. Backfire, the power succeeds with a raid that affects a different target with the worst possible results. If there are no viable alternative targets, the caster is instead stunned. If the power of the duration causes them to consider last for its full duration, it cannot be negated to a So. so whole bunch of bad? He cast... Not uh, really. It was fly on the three of us. Okay. Yeah, it's not really a power that... Uh, yeah, so you're just stunned instead. That's how I almost killed our crew that one time. Oh, yep. Yeah. So let's... Just for funsies, let's see how long that takes... Oh, I actually have combat reflexes. So I have bonuses to not be stunned. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm not stunned. I'm fine. Nice. I'm gonna take it off right away. Nice. I'm gonna try this again. Oh my god. Did you do it again? <laughs> An 11, but a 1 on the die. Oh, That's no. 140, 1, 144. I'm stunned again. <laughs> <laughs> if only you were more disciplined in your casting. Oh, oh. It takes me. Three rounds to be unstuck. Having a hard time getting hey. off the ground. <laughs> Look at that, a seven. All right, that's enough. Yep. So All you right. Can fly with pace fourteen. Yep. Okay, so yeah, it takes Tara a little bit to focus enough. Um, working with volatile magics. Uh, we get a fly. Are able to. Uh, get fly and sail over to the other side of this little marshy uh, quagmire island. Quagmire. And let's see, uh, with with fly moving up here, you guys can probably all see this coastline. Uh, so I'll have everyone make a notice roll. Um, full penalties. All right. My eye patch penalty. I got a two. Let's see. I got above a zero. That's yeah, pretty good. <laughs> well, I got a two. All right. Uh, I got a six and fuck around an eleven. There you go. <laughs> yep. Our savior. <laughs> um, okay, so so Paul. Um, uh, Paul kind of uh, flies. Uh, you guys are kind of flying up around, just look, sort of looking out, uh, seeing what you can see. Glancing at the plunderer's needle, which I assume Tara is holding. Yeah, sure. Um, and Paul kind of like flies over towards you, Robin, and says, uh, um, Boat! Ah! Boat house! Boat house. Ah! Um, and he, he directs your attention towards um, the little inlet right here. And you see some kind of like, uh, or a, a, a few sort of like wooden structures jutting out into the water. Oh my god, did they dig a canal? Oh. That'd be cool. That wouldn't explain. Okay. <clears throat> Boathouse over there. So it's, it's just a, like a wooden structure? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's as much as you can tell from, from this distance. You just see something kind of like jutting out into the water, and a couple of like, or like roof faces. 
if if we have water protection on or environmental protection water on can we fly through water hmm yes. yeah i think we what are you talking about we don't know what a submarine well, is you, you fly it at half speed so. okay so slightly so faster than we're talking about pace actually that that isn't dependent on uh on environmental protection it's just you right, still but not drowning speed. is but, yeah so that would take us quite a while to get there. It'll take us quite a while to get there just flying. Okay. I can yeah. try to make the whole journey. What time of day is it? Um, it's like 1 to 2 p.m. probably. Uh, we could wait till it's dark, or we could be invisible. Can you just cast invisibility, or is that a talisman? I, I can, it's just hella expensive. It's five points to cast, and another three for every additional person. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. You might just be rolling for a bit. <clears throat> right. Not easy. Not I mean, easy. I don't want to go underwater there, because it's going to take all day to get there. Yeah. It'd probably be... And then, if we needed to get back quickly. <laughs> yeah. Um, we should probably scout this out, though. So... Uh, it's 11 total. I'll add the... Shroud modifier, I guess. 12, so minus 6. I'll think on it and spend a Benny. All right. For flat roll. Invisibility. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, five. Nice. That is enough. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so you are going to. Be not completely invisible. Uh, so you're gonna just fly over there? And you, you fly to this. And you may want to cast Detect Arcana <laughs> so we can see each other. Um, I do have that. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I had that. I don't have Conceal. That's what yep. I don't have. Yes, yeah. that's probably a good idea. Uh, so one, two, three. So minus two, one power up, minus three channel. Aim. Yeah, minus two. Oh, okay. Now we go nuts. Twelve. <laughs> wow, we can see all of them. All right, nice. So yeah, you you guys do some more casting, become invisible, and then kind of glowy <laughs> to your to your eyes. And you you fly out to investigate the uh, the buildings. This is some some good late game magic using. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> um, so you it it takes a couple of hours to fly across there. Um, so it's getting closer toward towards evening uh, when you arrive. The sun still up in the air uh, up in the sky, but I guess it is cloudy, so you know you don't actually see it. Uh, but as you approach this this area, uh, you see it does, uh, in fact, appear to be a like a dock, um, and there are a pair of sort of um, not like I, I don't want to say shoddily constructed, but. Rudimentary. Not, <laughs> not uh, they, great. It does not look like a whole lot of effort was put into making them look nice. It's it's uh, they're basically just like like there's, glorified lean tos. There's no like construction material here, right? They probably have to ship in every all their construction. Yeah, not that you can see. 
Um, and there, so there's like the dock, and then there are two sort of medium-sized buildings at the, the end of the dock, um, with a mix of sort of like canvas and, and wood beams. Um, it looks pretty sparsely, I, like you don't see anyone moving around, uh, however, um, with the sort of dim light of the sky, you, you can see a faint uh, light flickering from one of the like doorways of the uh, buildings. <clears throat> is the needle doing anything different? Or is it still pointing like towards the mouth of this big bay? Still pointing up, yeah. Alright, well... The ships are either getting like teleported very far away or they're not ships anymore. So, or, or they're on land. Or maybe them not being in the ocean discounts them from being detected. I should have tested that in the dry dock that one time. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, hmm. You totally should have. There's so many questions about the rules of this thing. It's like Jack Sparrow's compass. Like, wait, hang on, it does what? Mm hmm. If you're hungry, does it point towards the nearest sandwich? <laughs> How hungry are you? <laughs> um, I yeah, points up. That is, the nearest that is edible here. thing. You're going to try and sneak up, you said? Mm. Yeah. We gotta try and be sneaky, Captain. Okay. <laughs> but we, we are invisible. We get plus one sneak two. We aren't um, the sneakiest right. bunch, but we'll give it a go. So... Yeah, go ahead and give me stealth rolls, I guess. <laughs> Formality. I mean, you're flying invisibly, so that's that's pretty sneaky. Watch this crit fail. Oh, three. I got 16. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, like, art or something? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, what? Just not be very careful. It's a different type of flight. <laughs> there we go. I got a four. Hey, fart bending is confirmed. Uh, my Lilo did it in in Korra. He did yep. fart bending. Yeah, yeah, that, that he did. Mr. Dibskit. I got a four. Four. Okay. Yep. So Robin is like the knight, and you two are just. Um, you do, however, fly down here, uh, closer to the, uh, the building without any noticeable alarms being sounded. Um, it, could, no, it definitely would have just, like, ran into the building or something. <laughs> Damn it. Um, yeah, so you, you get down close to the building, uh, as, as you get, uh, near, you are aware of um, a, a sound, um, just like a, a, a slow sort of um, uh, kind of solemn uh, sound of like flute music, just idly playing. If there's elves here, I'm gonna burn this mother down! <laughs> <laughs> Jack down! We're done with elves. We're so done with friggin' elves. I'm gonna blood sacrifice him. <laughs> it's just your bottle. He found out it's like music. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, there aren't really any windows to this building. Like, like melodic? Melodic music? Yeah. Or just a whistling sound? No, it's like a flute. Okay. Or someone's really good at whistling to sound like a flute. But it's not like snoring. No. 
it's it coming from the shack? Yeah. yeah. There are two shacks, right? Mm -hmm. One of them is, is like dark and unlit. And both are on the same side of this? Uh, they're like flanking sides of the, the dock. Dock, yep, okay. There's no one on the dock? No. There's a there couple are... of ropes coiled up. Um, as actually, uh, as you get closer, you see that there are like uh, wagon wheel tracks um, that are like worn into the ground coming off the dock. And they they do make something of like a path going this way into the swamp. East. Ooh. Into the swamp. <laughs> they're, they're oh God, they have amphibious wagons. That's a amphibious thing. Amphibious submarine wagons. No, it's it's probably just they're probably just carting this stuff back and forth. They probably just have a small, like, uh, ferry in the lake just going back and forth. Hmm, right. Are they carting the Complete, ship? Completely harmless. Because the no. ships are disappearing off the scope. <laughs> beep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> My god, Ensign, where are the beeps? <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, would like a raft that's been pulled on shore not trigger it anymore? We have no idea how this plunder and needle works. Wait, what time last? What what time last night did it switch to? Oh, I'm drawing stuff. It's like okay. ten. It was like ten p.m. It switched. Yep. And then we started heading north, east-ish, along the shore, chasing whatever was coming south. And then it suddenly, whoop! And then we turned around to chase that. And then it sailed into what we think is this. It was pointing this way when, whoop! The plunder's needle pointed north again. Yep. And no ship is. I mean, we would have seen that. What's so it got here, here, probably, and what? then just, like, disappeared. The size of the dock here, are we talking, like, fishing dock or, like, something um, for, like, this a is to dock on you? The latter one. Okay. You could dock the forget me not on us. <clears throat> Goes out far, then, far enough into the water that it's deep. And they have cart tracks heading to the east. Yep. Um, as, as you're the kind of like sitting out here, uh, you you hear the the sort of slow flute music kind of uh, falter as as a note is missed, hmm. and uh, you hear oh, someone kind of like uh, swear quietly. <laughs> I mean, we we can sit here and speculate as much as we want to, but these people know what what's going on. Yeah. Let's just go. Bust in the door and say, "Hey, what's up, bitches?" Or send in yep. a sneaky sneak to look in the window. Or we just haunt it. Go, Ooh. <laughs> we have a freaky ass little girl, a little native girl. They, <laughs> That could be like partially <laughs> translucent with invisibility, right? You could hack it. The shroud <laughs> modifier, yeah, you could basically swing as a ghost. <laughs> Cast a fear spell. Yeah. Why? Why do we want to haunt it? Other than getting in, just asking what's up. Robin, you want to go get a closer look? Yeah. I'll go get a closer look. <laughs> Okay. I don't, I don't want to go down there and start kidnapping people because then they'll know we know. Chicken it with a D4 stealth though. Eight. Okay. Um. So, like I said, there there is not really any windows to this this building. Um, light coming out of something, right? There is a door way that is open. Oh yeah, go look at that. So you just kind of fly down and 
poke your head in um, quietly. Uh, so you see there is like a, um, uh, there's sort of a, a hearth on, on the other side, which is mostly just like a campfire near the wall where there's like a hole in the ceiling. <clears throat> and there seems to be just kind of like a, a group of people uh, camping out, um, you know, like camping supplies and all. Uh, just sort of sitting around the, uh, a fire. Um, most of them are sleeping. Uh, there, there's a total of ten of them, and they all seem to. Be, they're all like Drassian in descent uh, for the most part. Um, they don't really look like. Uh, military to you. They don't have, like, a official uniform. Uh, they just have a bunch of, like, piecemeal kind of armors um, and, like, a bunch of different kinds of weapons and stuff. Hmm. Uh, the ones they're that not are organized. Awake, currently, there there is a, a guy who's sitting next to the fire with, like, a, a beard that's very long and has, like, a bunch of, uh, like, uh, braids and, and beads in it and he's playing the flute um there's a uh, a guy sort of sitting off to the side who has a big old gun oh. that he's currently like cleaning like an elephant gun <laughs> and uh then there is a a woman who is reading like a small um sort of leaning up against the wall Is there any either a desk or anything that might suggest paperwork? Um, you don't see any desks. There are a couple of like, um, like chests, like uh, uh, like trunk-sized chests, and uh, a few crates and stuff. Trunk it <clears throat> Right, I'm gonna go look at in the other lean to. Okay, you're gonna go over to the other building. Um, it looks uh, barrels and chests and stuff filling this. Not filling. It's probably like a quarter of the way full. Supplies. You see a couple stacks of wood and some like nails and stuff. The hammer uh, right on top. Alright, I go report. Was it was it a living space? Are they living there? Was it they just to prepare yeah, food? Yeah, at least temporarily. Um But they, they definitely were, were guards, right? In my knowledge, do does the <clears throat> military admit women? Are they common? Um Obviously, they are not in the Federation, common. but... Yeah, like... Not common, although they do. Most of the case, most of the time when they do admit women, it's because they're uh, mages. Or have some other talent that is exceptional. Is that similar for Federation? That's just my curiosity. Uh, yeah. I got in. But yeah, I, uh, I mean, like, they, especially in, like, the southern states of the Federation, like, um, Terelia and Pantera, uh, there's more women in the military. Okay, so it's province-specific. Yeah. Okay. The northern provinces tends to be more gender-divided. This is getting a little off-topic, but... So was my ship primarily... Tyrellians, or probably. okay, so it's unit mix up from that. like the southern provinces, <clears throat> like this ship hails from a port in Tyrellia. Right, so you had like the the eighth Minnesotan infantry or something like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> so we we pull <clears throat> Tara back from her reminiscence of her yeah. military days. <laughs> 
not really the glory days. Um, Maybe. <clears throat> so we can either ask them, which will probably end up in us killing them, or we can just follow the tracks, see where it goes. They're either they're either super high tier crack troops in quasi disguise. Or they're actually just a bunch of mercenaries. And considering that there's disappearing ships, well, I don't know. Huh. They might have hired some goons, but we have tracks to follow. I say we do that. I mean, there was no one like on guard or watching, right? That I saw. I mean, yeah. there's some people awake, but no one like actively keeping a lookout. Because we're the only people who are not supposed to be here for months and months, I'm sure. Yeah, but if it was like a highly trained crack military group, I feel like they would. Oh, yeah. They would keep watching yeah, regardless. Yeah. Well. Because who knows? An invisible girl might just peek on you. I mean, they're definitely like not living here long term, they don't have a vessel. So that means that there's guard changes. At least like every day or so, right? Which means it's probably within... Well, probably. I mean, like, the, the amount of supplies that were in the other shed. Like, probably a week or so. Are there fires? Oh, there was a hearth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, they could probably chill out here for a week and not need anything. Yeah, all right. We could um, find their water barrel and pop a leak and see what they do. If all their water suddenly disappears, they'll need to do something, and we could follow them. Or we could follow the stupid cart tracks that are clearly going somewhere. Because <laughs> my guess is that they would start walking along the cart tracks. Let's do that. Can I do that? I don't really want to talk to it if it means losing the elements of surprise. All right. Um, so you you gonna follow the cart tracks? Uh, go ahead and someone give me a survival roll because uh, uh, as as you kind of uh, fly out. Uh, the, it, it's not super easy to follow because the, it kind of goes through like a variety of terrain, some a bit harder, some of it more mucky. Some some water uh, passes through like shallow water. Uh, I have a D4. I also have a D4, but I rolled. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I got nothing. You seem more like a tracker, anyways, but that might be racist. Can you use uh, ensign? I, I did learn survival so I could make maps. So I don't really know what I'm doing. But I got a 9, so maybe I'm I've done survival this whole time, but I think it's more of so that I could detect weather. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, okay. You got a 9. Alright, so you are able to, to follow the line tracks. Uh, they seem to be going pretty much uh, into the ground if I'm going to it. Straight east. <laughs> All right, Robin, you lead. You probably know how to track, right? Shit, that was racist. <laughs> <laughs> Only a little. Um, yeah. well, one thing you you can tell as well uh, as you're looking at this, uh, whatever wagons come through here are generally carrying quite heavy loads. Hmm. Uh, the the wheel uh, like divots into the ground are pretty deep. And you can tell several places where the it like got stuck for a bit because there's just like a bunch of like muck sort of sprayed around there. Um, they are also yeah. fairly fresh. What was that, Gerald? That sounded like a Chani wolf. That was a Chani. Her, you tell her there's no need for the wolfen. Oh, they are. She disagreed. 
Oh, yeah. Stick boy tracks. With stick boys on board. Yeah. So what could... What could be that damn full around here? Just, just fucking... I mean, it's gonna be gems and gold. That's just all there is to it. Barrels of napalm. Hmm. That looks pretty dense, right? What is? The napalm. Uh, I mean, like it's denser than water, and water's pretty heavy. Yeah. I mean, this whole area is like marsh, right? Like a barrel or, yes. or like a wagon of water would be hella heavy. It would be a pain in the ass to get a wagon, loaded up wagon through here. Pretty much in, all the time, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so you follow it for quite a few miles inland uh, until night falls. Uh, or how, how much do you want to continue following it? I guess this is pretty far. <laughs> You've gone probably 10 miles inland at this point. Or... I know we have no reason yeah, to suspect a submarine, but I really wanted to check under the water near the dock. <laughs> I'm so suspicious. I say we keep going. I don't think there's anything back towards the dock. Yeah. Okay. How, how far would we be able to hear a cannon fire? How far? Uh, you can hear miles. miles. Several miles. Okay. Um, so a uh, normal rifle, like a, you know, hunting rifle, you can hear for three miles. So that's a. A cannon. Oh, yeah, cannon. Cannons are loud. Uh, thirty to fifty miles. Okay, so we probably still can. I mean, I think that might be like a modern artillery cannon. Uh, um, so what's your probably designed to be quieter? What's your but, cannon unit of yeah. measurement? <laughs> How many millimeters? You know, baby like, gunpowder, that sort of thing. I don't know, like twenty-five. Thereabouts. So we're like on, on the edge. edge. So we'd so, be on, on the edge. I had to do me the Gorgon's Rose in case of emergency. <laughs> we could just dominate, or dominate, nominate do me the Keeper of the Rose. That's a kick ass title. The Keeper of what? Yeah, it is. The Keeper of the Rose. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> like, it sounds flowery and cute, but like, nah, dude. It summons a Gorgon to do your bidding. But as soon as you do it, you lose the title. So like, you really, you really only want to do it if you're. That really honestly just expensive. makes it sound more badass. Yep. Everything about that is now amazing. <laughs> All right. Um. An official news so tip you're going to continue following these these wagon tracks that I mean, into the into the swamp. Did, we didn't um, really bring. We didn't really bring food or camping equipment. We we actually, yeah, not, I, don't, right? I mean, I don't think you intended on flying inland when you set off. I mean, I know where we could find some food and camping equipment. You kind of did the the wandering thing where you like you sailed over here and it's like, ooh, a thing. You sailed over here and like, ooh, a thing, and you sailed. And now now you're like 30 miles away from your uh, from your ship. All right, so I don't actually want to sail or fly inland. <laughs> now I'm thinking maybe we do go. Like, if it's that far, I mean, we're going to pull it on nighter. We, and we have this map, right? We know that we're probably heading towards a lake. Yeah. yeah. I probably. mean, I, I guarantee you, at some point, it ends up around here. Well, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, one thing I do want to do is I want to check out oh, this lake. Is it gunpowder made out of? No, that's saltpeter and potash. Kind of I do want to, like, look at this lake to see if our vessel could sit in it. 
Yeah. If you can sit in this, <laughs> probably sit in this one. Okay, yeah. I this is how cool it is. Mainly. Because obviously it's big enough, like surface area wise. But yeah. So I think I think we push it. We're we're already almost there. We push through the night to get there, check out whatever these tracks lead to, and then probably head back and and formulate a plan. Okay, sounds good. So, you you continue flying uh, into the the early night, um, and you you do get to the edge of the lake uh, at around like you know nine or ten, a couple hours after the sun's gone down, and. The tracks end on like a sort of muddy beach, and uh, you see a, a lot of like um, like boot prints sort of scattered around this area, uh, and just like like a lot of commotion uh, went on here um, in general. <clears throat> uh, if you, I assume you're gonna get down and kind of like look around. Uh, and it's it's hard to miss the the notable important part, which is you see a a, a deep sort of groove uh, through the, the like the mud, um, sort of straight out into the water, um, which is from from your guys' experience, uh, obviously some kind of small water craft like the the keel of a small watercraft that was like pushed out into the into the water yeah okay so they're just ferrying stuff probably so like a like bigger than a long ship that you'd have on a on a boat um but not on, on like you know on board of a a, a ship okay um yeah maybe like, like door, fishing but... fishing boat sized when they push it ashore, the needle goes back up north, and then when it hits the lake again, it goes back to it. The... whatever, vessel? Yeah. Oh, you think it's like a really small vessel that is actually like, they're putting on a cart? No, I think they're just pushing it ashore and loading it. Or they're pushing it ashore while they wait for the ship to... and they load it up, ferry it across. But you're saying that they pushed the vessel across this land. They like portage your vessel. Oh uh, no, just across the lake. So then, where the heck is the boat that we were chasing probably, south? Probably on the other side of this lake. But it's out of the water. Yeah, like a longboat, you just push up on shore, right? While you're not using it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yep. So that would mean back at the two shitty shacks, those barrels are what they were moving, right? Probably. And they're probably waiting for a ship to come down and, and pick it up. Okay. So shitty little longboats probably do count. <laughs> I guess they could have done we could have just put a longboat into the water and see if the needle. That's too smart. <laughs> we are not but humble pirates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, humble pirates doing trigonometry. Yes. Yeah. Some quick trig. Hey, pirates needed to know trigonometry. Don't tell me they didn't. All that navigation. I mean, they probably didn't call it trigonometry. They called it trigonometry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we haven't had a good pirate joke in a long time. Yeah. yeah. Well, way, you know, I, like there's. I'm gonna play the stupidest motherfucker this side of the planet. <laughs> and if you guys let me, I will lead us into the worst possible scenarios. I can't wait. Yes, I can't either. I mean, you do want to bring us into a storm. But that's with purpose. Right. Well, I'll be right back. Big purpose, but purpose.
I mean, you have been told that you have a year to do it, otherwise something bad's gonna happen. Well, she did bring that upon herself. Nobody, nobody forced her to make that. You know. I at least made the elf question the uh, the wiseness of his decisions. So I call that a win. <laughs> so no matter no. what happened. So I don't think we really learned anything new. We already knew that he was excavating this stuff and ferrying it to the out here. Yeah, I thought there was some crazy. Crazy shenanigans going on. Do we want to try to intercept the shipment of this? We could or... just steal what they have right now. <laughs> I mean, my my thing is that we would tip off, we we would tip them off then, and we we know where like the mother load is. I mean, yeah, if we want to mess with them or steal this stuff, we go here. I'm think I'm, I'm thinking they they probably still think that they have. A secret stash and out here that no one knows about. Sure. If, if they hear about issues, they'll move it. That's hard to do, though. That is quietly. hard to do. Plus, uh, that would make uh, it very vulnerable to being stolen. Right. If they have to move it. I'm just saying the people at Grey Harbor might, might be very grateful or pay a decent penny for the knowledge of where a store of this stuff is. Yeah, that's true. The other part of this is that if we fly our ship into this lake here, there's no way that anybody with him would outgun us. <laughs> we could certainly dictate any deal we wanted. <laughs> like, hey, we have a frigate in this lake. I don't think you guys have any cannons. So... What do you want to do about that? <laughs> well, they probably have lasers and shit, so... Yeah. And as we know, that can blow up a frigate. Yeah, yeah. Quite <laughs> effect. Actually, that was a galleon. Yeah, it was bigger and tougher than us. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. boy. But, I mean, at right. most, what we would get out of that exchange is one ship's worth of, of napalm. Yeah. And really pissed off military. Yeah, no, you're right. It's not part of our plan. Maybe we've just been I mean, like, it, it, if we want the napalm, I would say we, we hit their stickage. I think that is more successful than we probably will have. Uh, we'll, we can get a lot more. Yeah. Do we... Also, then they had to put all the all the effort and man hours into getting it, and then we can take it. Yeah, they mined it for us. Right. Do we? So we don't want to hit the shacks then and steal what they have there, just to keep it quiet. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. on hitting the tracks. Night what? N not hitting the shacks. Oh, I thought we wanted to. Well, we, we're not sure if we want to because if we do, they might try to move the stockpile in Alna here. But that might also make it more vulnerable to being stolen if it's not in a secure location. Yeah. It'll be on a ship, right? It'll be moved to a ship or to some other storehouse. You can't, there's not another storehouse that isn't just a warehouse in Alma here, though. There's no. Oh, oh we have to move to our backup bunker. Demos on your printer. What are you gonna do? She hasn't busted it yet. Yeah. It can take um, Okay, so... Yeah, the... I mean, there's probably a reason why they didn't put the super flammable stuff into a wooden warehouse inside of a city. Yeah. No, I, I, don't, I don't want to hit the shack. 
All right, I'm cool with that. They probably wouldn't move it. They would just increase the guard on it. Right. You can't move it. Not without planning on moving it to the location with which it will be used. Mm-hmm. So we just can't, we, we right, don't so want to just... Uh, you guys want to... We don't want to just start blowing shit up. <laughs> we could blow up the shacks, then it'd just be like, well, this was probably an accident because it's a napalm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we can steal whatever goods they have first. I mean, we could steal the barrels and then blow it up. I still don't love the idea of having this stuff on the ship. Yeah, me neither. They might have other stuff, though. I bet well, they Sweet I, stuff I, the assault and ash that isn't napalm. Right, I didn't go through all the chests. I just know that they have chests. So maybe we like check out their chests, steal any valuables, and then blow up the napalm. Do we want to try to do it sneakily or do we just want to kill these people and then? I mean I'd rather not get shot at. Okay. Back to the shacks. So you can fly back to the shacks. Uh, Alright, so that's gonna that's another couple of hours of, of flying. Through. At this point, you guys are are feeling pretty tired. Um, it, you know, it's kind of like rainy, and you've been flying through the air with like rain falling down on you for a while. Uh, so why don't you want to give me a like, uh, We need one of those cocaine-based tonics or whatever. <laughs> A little uh, wake up. Yeah, like a healing remedy. That's what cocaine yeah. do. I got seven. Yep. It's uh, cocaine in the lats. Vigor roll for everyone. Robin, you're all right. Yeah. Yep. I got four. <laughs> the the yep. coffee pot too. Yeah, you, you're not uh, falling asleep. Uh, falling asleep yet. Uh, or you're not suffering detrimental effects from being tired. Uh, what do you get, Mr. Dibs? Oh, sorry. Uh, what was the roll? I'm talking Vigor. with chat. Vigor. All right. Well, good. At least I'm good at that. You keep giving me garbage stats to roll. <laughs> All right. Blew up the six for another one. Whoa, I'm going to kick that ass. Oh, my God. How, do, I, do I just auto-pass after a while? Six, 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 four. I mean, it's 22. Numbers. Yeah, you, you're fine. <laughs> um, you, you got the cocaine somewhere. Hold my <laughs> uh, all right, so you get back to the the shacks at uh, early in the morning. <laughs> at this point, you're just like flying around at night, uh, almost through the night. Uh, when you when you get back over there, you see there is actually someone standing out uh, front, uh, kind of leaning up against the door frame. Uh, looks like they're smoking. Um, what is the play here? You guys are gonna try and sneak in. Are you trying to sneak into the the, the occupied building or the? What? What time is it now? It's like 2 a.m. Oh, so it's still dark. Uh, yeah. Wait for a smoking dude to go back inside and then go hit the occupied building? I say we... Well, where are all the chests kept? In the other... There were some chests and crates in the lean-to with them, but there is a whole lean-to of chests and barrels and crates and stuff. Yeah. Right. I mean, how big is the, how big is the, uh, shack? Um, it's like, probably, uh, not, not small, probably like 60, 60 by 40 feet. So, okay. be before we, before we do this, if we find anything of value, we're probably going to have to come back with the ship anyway. Unless we just want to fly with crates of stuff back to the ship. Um, yes. 
So why don't we make sure no one's coming down the the bay, and then we just bring the ship up, and then when they're like, "Hey, what are you guys doing here?" We just have all our people shoot at them. Hmm. That's yes. And we lose well, stop. They'll see oh, the oh, ship shit. way before. Oh. Yeah, but the problem is you want to start the ship coming. Okay, I get what you're saying. I mean, hmm. Do we just fly back to the ship, have a night's rest, and then do this again tomorrow? But with a plan instead of just scouting? Well, how about. I, I, I want to go look and see if there's anything worth coming back for. Okay, yeah, yeah, go check out the. So you're gonna go search like through the, uh, the unoccupied hall, and then there's like a pouch of gems, right? We take the pouch of gems, light a fuse on the napalm, and just leave. Right. Okay, so Robin, you you go into the the unoccupied building, uh, and you just want to like break open a couple of these crates and look in, in barrels and stuff. Probably the chests. Those seem like they have more valuables. Uh, you don't see any of the chests in oh. this building. Those are all with the people. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll look through whatever I can here while I'm making okay. as minimal noise as I can. So, uh, you search through the, the chests. Not the chests. The crates. The and crates. Barrels. Barrels. Most of the crates seem to be like provisions, uh, like naval rations and stuff. Um, nothing special. Um, you do find that several of the barrels, uh, which are kind of like stacked a little bit separate, are casks of deep fire. Um, Cask of what? Deep fire. Uh, and... I think he means blasting jelly. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. Why don't you give me a notice roll? Mm -hmm. you, you find anything else? Be most certain with some affection. Yeah, very needy. Uh, nine? Okay. So, uh, kind of near, uh, closer to the deep fire than to the other uh, chests, you see there, there's, there's like one crate that's a little bit closer to the deep fire. And um, cracking that one open, uh, it it has a uh, a number of like these like uh, sort of there's like cloth wrapped up uh, items. Can I unwrap one of the items? You you, you unwrap one and. It's this kind of like uh, glistening, uh, almost like crystalline uh, sort of disc of uh, material. Is it about the same Probably, size as the bronze discs? No, no, it, it's definitely different from that. It, it's kind of like uh, crystalline, and it's about like a foot long, sort of oblong oh, shape. I found the nice chinaware. <laughs> Um, it, it is not flat, though. It's kind of like a cylinder, almost. Um, With little, like, jagged pieces. Uh, it's uh, sort of like an amber color. The the cloth that was wrapped around it, does that look newish or old? It looks uh, fairly old. But it's not in, in poor uh, condition. Okay. Um, I'll take one sample. Assuming, okay. all right. I'll, I'll look around and see if there's anything else. I'll take one one of those back up to the crew. Just one of the little yeah. crystal cylinder things. Okay. Like, like, cause, cause, like, I'm assuming that this crate is like a crate. Right? It's not something yeah. I can carry. No. And it is seemingly full of these things. Um. 
So you take that back up to the, your invisible friends? <laughs> yep, I find them in the sky. They're glowing. Okay. There's, there's a crate of these? It is somewhat hard. I guess you can like put it on the ground and then it becomes visible so they can look at it. <laughs> oh yeah. Was there... Did you check all of the crates or just the one before you found this? I did a pretty thorough search through, right? Yeah. I mean, you didn't check all the crates, but you checked like enough to be fairly confident that the other ones were just provisions. There's barrels, this one's kind of set apart. barrels of napalm, uh, provisions, and then this. But right. there's the chests in the other one, and all pirates know that that's where the good stuff is. Right. The guys have the chests. Oh no! <laughs> Alright. Well, yeah, they probably I, be carrying the nicest stuff. Unless they got real scared and ran out for some reason, like maybe the other shack was on fire or something. If the other shack is on fire, I think the other shack explodes, right? After a while, if you set the fire off on the right end, it'll take a while to get to the blasting jelly. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, the other option is I sneak attack electrical burst the entire shack. Or that. And then, then we get rid of the bodies. Yeah, I mean, that probably kills like 80% of them. Yeah. Unless there's some real badasses in there. That's a that's a bit harder to, to play off as a accident. But well, the corpses will be burned. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cause they, okay. either, cause they got them chests. They got them chests. We need to look in them chests. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with killing our Naki people. Yeah, right. We don't know if there are Naki, but there are there. I get this. I get the feeling that they are mercenaries working. Yeah. They are of Drassian descent. Yeah. No, they, and Alna here. Yeah. They, they hired that one mercenary guild to, like, did that, that guild was, like, super professional, right? Like, we would know if they were here. Uh, probably. that's what you heard, yeah. They'd probably be looking pretty, pretty cool. Not like these scrubs. I mean, I, yeah, I feel like... Unless they're going for the that... inconspicuous hide in plain sight, but... It's hard to hide in plain sight when you're the only thing in sight. <laughs> yeah. That's plainly too much in sight. Yeah. I say we I say we just sucker punch them so that we make sure we get all the loot and then burn everything down. Yeah, no, I like it. A sucker punch, a take it, a break it. We're out. The okay. old punch I taken break. I probably won't risk uh, casting any spells just because I feel like invisibility is key right now. Pretty useful. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably drop both of my spells to throw up deflection. Okay. Yes, I'll drop fly. And defect arcana or Yeah. Alright. So yeah. we we should okay, make sure that we come up with a plan before we do that, so roughly where each other is gonna be. So I don't shoot you by accident. If you shoot me while I'm invisible with deflection on, I'll just get shot. <laughs> <laughs> just just try to keep it chill with the AoEs. I'm saying that to myself, not you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think anyone else has AoEs. So. Well, I don't know if there's not a map, but I'll probably post out quite a bit. Just pew pew. Alright. Mr. Dibs. Yes. 
guess you too, Robin. I'm gonna.